So what some scenes are like for me? This is the computer where I edit videos and upload them and check my YouTube and things like that. I really wish that this picture was still my account's profile picture. But now YouTube has sent it to do whatever the last video I uploaded was. And on the My Videos thing, it used to have a thing that said, Set as, as profile picture. You know, remember that, YouTube guys? You used to be able to click on that and it said it right there. Well, they took that feature out. And now I can't do it anymore. Why did they take that feature out? Reminds me of Vista, which is what this computer is. They took a lot of good features out of this, uh, out of XP when they made Vista, and I'm very annoyed. So that's the computer. I'll look into the kitchen. Oh, what a good deal. Supper. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Cashew chicken without the cashews. Tastes good. Of course, you want to be using soy sauce. Just quick showings. And I got that sound design cassette recorder that I made recently made a video of. 7620. It was inside this box and thought, oh, I got a General Electric recorder that although brand new is no doubt DC bias. So very pleased and I opened it up to find the sound design was inside, which is AC bias. And an equalizer that I have not tried out yet. See, Master Recorder, he had requested that I make a video showing where I fix everything and stuff. So these are just showings of what the place is like. And then to go up to the real waves. I really hate blurry picture. Master bedroom. Going in here. Bathroom. Closet. Old 60s or 70s singer's sewing machine. My brother's room. It's where he keeps his laptop. It's a new thing. Bears. <laughs> An alien. <laughs> Rob the robot. All these things for Pokemon and the world and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now my classic bedroom. Where my earlier of my, the majority of my YouTube videos, that the early videos that I did mostly in 2007, you know, were done in this room. I rarely make videos in this room anymore because the third floor room is what I use. I really hope I don't make it a 10 minute video. These are classic ways, these cassettes, I, most of these I rarely ever play. A lot of them were given to me by a friend and it's very special. This sign right here I had there since, since the end of the fourth grade. So that would have been there since the year 2002. That's crazy. Oh, by the way, this has been here since 2005. It has not been taken off since. It says KC Control Room. KC for Client Co. And my friends were here and we were re recording on eight tracks. <laughs> he had a blast. I had used my Fisher MC3015. It was up in my room that then. Me, my friend Evan, and my friend Ryan. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I still have those recordings. And of course the third floor room where I fix things and stuff. So Master Corridor wanted to see where I fix stuff. Currently I'm using this desk to fix things. Extensively messy. I wish I had more room. I wish I could keep things more organized. I need bigger workbenches, better ways, and more room. 
and there sits the lanier machine here. Hopefully it'll run run long off this charge of batteries. Battery pack. Really, really cool model. Um, Windex. Uh, this cool resisto o guide. This is from 1946, I think. This thing. You flip the colors and the numbers move accordingly so you can find out the value of a resistor. Sits the symphonic stereo. I have no place to set up the sound design stereo now. All this stuff. <sighs> Fantastic. Even a linear micro cassette machine, but I don't have the mic for it. Uh, all this stuff. The better it sets the bell and how all that needs is fixed on the record problem. All this stuff. Reel to reels. I mean, throughout this thing, you see cassette recorders stacked up. You can see cassette recorders all stacked up under there. Back of reel to reel machine, which probably needs a new motor running capacitor because the motor cut off one day. And the motor would still kind of jiggle if I moved it, but it wouldn't turn. More reel to reel stuff. This is not hooked up to speakers right now. That stereo. The radio doesn't want to work on it sometimes, but the amplifier works just fine. I can play the reel to reel. The reel to reel here with one reel. The amplifier is right now sitting there on the floor. See, I don't, some of my stuff in here is still right. Attic. I'm sorry, Clyde Slide. I apologize, but there's just no other place to store stuff that I can't use due to lack of space. But here's some more stereos. This stereo right there, the amplifiers are out. It doesn't work, so. It, or tuner works on it, but the amplifiers are out. I found it. I only paid a dollar for it, so it's not that big a deal. That, this machine died of corrosion. Seriously. My little GE Portacolor. It's such a neat little TV. Here's the other place where I'd fix things. Look at all the screws and stuff that go to that machine. Look at the Legos. Man, look at this place. Let's check this place out. Admire the architecture. <sighs> Man, I wish I could just shrink down and go inside there. You don't need that. I suppose you can do that. I wish I could do it so bad. That computer has no mouse. And has no internet hooked up. Not quick, but long tour of the place. Already eight minutes. So... I was about to say, or thinking of saying quick tour, but not long. The Mayfair reel to reel, either it's got some bad contacts going, or the motor's going to need some cleaning on the inside because the motor doesn't want to turn very good anymore. The vintage audio shelf, which was fresh in, I think, around October of 2007, and got more and more populated. And the Akai X360D has been sitting back there not being used for a long time as other things take its place. The stereo is not fully hooked up due to a shortage of cords. The old battery pack that used to be in there. Wow. Look at all this. The Ampex. Built circuits. Empty box of Q-tips. Reels, clock that is not accurate since the power went out. And <laughs> I have not reset yet. Yeah, it's crazy. There, messy place. Really messy place. Can't believe how long my stinking videos are. Because each time I make a video, do I run on some time accelerator? Because I'm tired of this 10 minute deal and this. Taking the time to make a video that doesn't seem that long while you're making it in time just goes by and annoys me like crazy. Got tapes pasted up on the wall. They're hanging on nails. I do the same with reels.
You can see some nails that don't have reels on them. The marker board under this fell off and I bumped it with anger after I accidentally bumped it. And there it lies right there.